obviously that wasn't really how I hurt my back. I'm just trying to get better at storytelling. So I made a dramatic reenactment of how it all went down. You already saw what happened last week. Not that entertaining. Just trying to throw a little entertainment value in there for you. But this isn't my first rodeo. In the past, what is it, five or six times I've done this over the last four years, there are some things I've learned about what to do and what not to do when you hurt your back deadlifting or squatting. Whether you hear pops, cracks, tears, explosions, gunshots, or whatever, or not. Um, here are some helpful tips that I've come to learn along the way. Uh, let's go over the things you don't do first. First of all, don't panic. You're not broken, you're not dying. Unless you get carried out on a stretcher, I'm pretty sure you'll be fine. Number two, don't stop moving. The second you sit down, try to relax. Um, that's when the real pain sets in. So keep your body moving, keep it warm. It's uncomfortable, but trust me, being immobile and then trying to be mobile again, much more uncomfortable. Number three, and this is probably the most important one, don't feel sorry for yourself. You're gonna wanna spiral down a deep, dark rabbit hole of depression of, oh fuck, I can't believe I did that, I'm so stupid. Oh, I'm never gonna train again, I'm never gonna lift heavy again. Get over it. Injuries are a part of life, part of training for sure. You're gonna get hurt no matter what you do. You're gonna get hurt out in the real world doing something stupid, or you're gonna get hurt in the gym. That's just what happens in life. I get it, it's hard not to go down that rabbit hole, but don't go down the fucking rabbit hole. Get moving, pick up some goddamn weight, go for a walk, don't have people help you at work, don't feel sorry for yourself. Actually, that reminds me of another don't. Don't listen to people, because most people are gonna be like, oh shit, man, you fucked your shit up. Oh man, that sucks. You're never gonna lift again. Bro, you need to take it easy. Don't listen to anybody, especially when they say take it easy, because that's just not how you're gonna get better. The more easy you take it, the longer the road to recovery. The last don't. Well, there's, there's a lot of don'ts. <laughs> Do not lay down when you go to sleep that night. Prop yourself up with some pillows and sleep in a like seated position. Don't go less than 45 degrees. Um, I don't exactly know what the science is behind it, but my theory is when you lay down flat, um, your bones and muscles relax and have more room to allow more inflammation. And as you sleep, that inflammation accumulates after eight hours. And when you try to sit upright again and get out of bed, that is one of the most painful experiences I've ever felt ever in my life. Uh, I made that mistake one time. The first time I, I hurt my back, I didn't know any better. I went to bed that night and the next morning, I, it took me almost an hour to get out of bed. It hurt that bad, at least for the first week, but mostly until the pain starts going away, sleep in an upright position. Um, if you still feel aches and pains, I wouldn't, I wouldn't sleep flat on your back. So that's just my opinion. Do what you can to not have any sort of reactionary uh, flinch type motion to anything. So no sneezing for sure, because fuck that'll hurt. Um, if something goes bang and you're not expecting it, try not to do one of these. The second you, you flinch for like somebody doing this at you or you know a loud bang or something happens and you, you clench all your muscles, you're gonna feel it, it hurts. There are a bunch of different rehab things you can do for your back. One that I found works the best and is the easiest to follow along with that you don't have to pay for. It's called the Star Rehab Protocol. Very easy. Squats and deadlifts, that's all you're doing. And you alternate. You do one day of squats, one day of deadlifts. You just do three sets of 25 and that's it. And then each time you just bump it up five pounds. That's all you do. So squats and deadlifts, three sets of 25 each. Up the weight every, uh, every workout and uh, your back will thank you for it. If you don't move, you're gonna be in for a world of hurt for much, much longer.